scooter. Electric scooters speeding down roads and sidewalks. There's this whole conversation now uh, about whether or not these things should be banned. Ah, uh, yes, e-scooters. Just like Marmite, you either love them or you absolutely hate them. In the UK at the moment, they're currently illegal. But is all the hate justified? Are they actually safe? In this video, I hope to prove two things. Firstly, it's how you ride them. Unfortunately, some people do ride them like idiots. And it sets a bad name for the rest of us. Secondly, it's the type of e-scooter you get. Good brakes and a general good feel, good usability. Uh, makes for a great user-friendly experience. So, as well as having a electric brake, mine has disc brakes on the back and front. Suspension on the back and front. Accelerator, uh, light switch, indicator switch and of course a horn. These are the brake lights and these are the indicator lights. Takes about 8 hours for a full charge. Comes with two keys, top speed of 28 mile an hour and an average range of between 30 to 35 miles. So, how do these features allow you to have a safe and respectful journey? Let's find out. So it's about here, I notice a guy to the left of me, so I'll slow down, let him make his turn, and then cross over the road straight after. And then down here, I'll give it a bit of speed, I can see absolutely no one around me, and there's no one in the distance, in the near distance, so it's alright to go a bit fast down here. I always have my hand over my back brake, ready to brake if need be. And then I'm slowing down here for the gentleman and his dog on the right hand side. As I get closer to this junction, I'm looking left, looking right. It can get quite busy sometimes. No one ahead of me, so I'll give it a bit of power. Slowing down for the pedestrians to the left of me. And of course I can see no one ahead of me, so I'll, I'll give it a bit of power down here, a bit more speed. And then I'll slow back down just in case there's any cars that want to turn left. Another busy junction up near Stanley Park. I'm looking over my right shoulder now, nothing coming. But I'll wait on this island because there is traffic coming from the roundabout to the left. So, the junction with Preston Old Road, and I simply stop, wait for the traffic to go, wait for the traffic lights to change to red, and then I know that I can quickly get across. Of course, I'm looking to the right just in case, and I cross a go. And it's the same here, I'm looking over to the right, absolutely nothing coming, so I cross over. So, I'm on Preston New Road now. And here I'm mainly keeping an eye out for people coming in out of the driveways. I've slowed down here for this gentleman ahead of me. I don't even think he realises I'm behind him, so I do the respectful thing and go do a bit of a road and go on the grass. Keeping my speed nice and slow because there's a junction ahead of me, so I'd slow down anyway. And it's a good job I have because if you look to the right, sure enough, the police do go past. As soon as the driveways are finished, I'll give it a bit of speed, but of course, I'll come to a complete stop because I'm at the very busy and the very fantastically and accurately named Fat Man's Corner in Blackpool. 
And then as soon as the lights go red here, there's no traffic there anyway, I'll cross over. Lights are red here as well. And I'm checking here on my left to make sure there's nothing coming before I cross over. A very strange noise from a car parked up on the right hand side. And another busy turning, so I'm looking left here, looking straight ahead. The people coming out of KFC and going into KFC. No one there, so over I go. I'm just up by the big Asda now. As soon as I cross over, there's a cycle lane just to the right of me on the pavement. And I look around here, there's no one ahead of me, so I'll give it the absolute beans down here. Probably doing about 26 miles an hour down here, but I'm looking straight ahead. I know there's no one coming, I'm keeping it on the driveways to my left and I'm slowing down about here. So on the promenade now, we're just near South Pier, and here I'm looking out for trams, pedestrians, cyclists, just generally trying to create my own space, and of course going nice and slowly. And as I'm going down the promenade here, I'm making sure that there's no one around me, keeping plenty of decent distance, and of course, keeping speed to a minimum when there's people around. Getting a bit of speed on here, but of course I'll start slowing down as soon as I see a dog walker ahead to the left. More pedestrians coming up here, so I'll keep it nice and slow. Make sure I've got loads of space, keep the distance away from them and get through them nice and safely. A pair of e-scooters here riding at a really good speed, good on them. So, approaching Central Pier here, and once again, I'm keeping an eye on my surroundings, making sure I'm staying quite far away from people, just in case anyone steps out or runs out in front of me. And of course, making sure I keep my speed to a minimum. So, coming towards the Wedding Chapel, which is straight ahead. Now there are some barriers being placed uh, just to the right, so it's a bit of a squeeze, so I'll let this family of three go ahead first. I'll slow down to go behind them. I have to come to a bit of a stop because an e-scooter rider comes through. A bit of impatience there by him, really, um, to just barge through like that. I'd rather wait, I'd rather wait and let the pedestrians go where they need to go. And then, as you can see here, I'll slowly make my way around them. Once 
once again here after the cyclist has gone through. I'll slowly move way around the pedestrians. It's their pavement, not mine. And another pair this time, North Beer. So I'm slowing down once again. Loads of pedestrians around. And of course to the right there's two doggies there. And then of course there's all the fires caused by mainly charging e-scooters and for that I'd recommend only use the charger that came with your e-scooter or use one from the manufacturer themselves if you need to replace yours as well as that when you're charging it keep it in a well ventilated area and always keep an eye on it never leave it unattended so whatever you may think of e-scooters I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and if you have give it a big thumbs up and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe to AT Media. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you again on the next one.